The Heltasa Foundation Special Interest Group held a special dialogue session at the annual ICED Heltasa Conference in November 2016 in Cape Town. The session titled, Business as Usual? Reflecting on ECP through Dialogue, was attended by over 25 conference delegates and represented at least 10 institutions across South Africa. The session was facilitated by Dr. Sarah Henkerman and offered the ECP community an opportunity to look forward by taking into account current debates and topical themes confronting the contemporary South African higher education sector. Dr. Henkerman explained that the dialogue would be structured to include individual, shared and group engagements that focused on the core questions introduced in the event invitation. Firstly, what are the common understandings of the values, principles and practices associated with ECP generally and broadly? And secondly, how relevant are these values given current or ongoing student protests in the university sector? Should these change? And if so, how should they change? A primary aim of the process was not to arrive at a set of solutions, but rather to explore possibilities framed around the core questions proposed by the session. Participants were asked to reflect on the questions individually and use written notes to articulate their ideas, positions and perspectives. Colleagues were then asked to share their reflections, preferably with colleagues from a different university context. A key aim here was to encourage listening, think more deeply about personally held perspectives and then refine ideas before taking this into the small group environment. Session delegates were also encouraged to work in groups of five or six and ensuring a healthy representation from different institutions. Groups were asked to focus more sharply on addressing the guiding questions. A group appointed scribe was asked to capture the key sentiments raised by the group members for presentation to the larger group. The first, uh, when we discussed the first question, the first uh, word, that, the first phrase that came to mind obviously was access for success. When we were asked the question, is it still relevant, is ECP still relevant, there was a loud um, call saying yes, it is still very relevant um, because the point of ECP is to address the very challenges that students are um, crying out about. When we thought about the question, what needs to change? We're realizing that the ECP agenda is really the agenda designed to find solutions to these problems and therefore ECP as a conversation and as a community of practice needs to evolve and grow in order to take on these new challenges that students actually, in fact, we need to be leading in many ways in the university the solutions to these problems. And that within the community there seems to be um, almost like a coalescing of shared uh, values and principles and it seems to be within staff, with staff and with students. I mean there's some uneven un uptake but generally and if we just go by the people in the group we shared similar um, values and principles and, and in many ways it mirrored what Dylan was saying so I'm not going to go through that. But there seems to be challenges which resonate primarily within institutional structures. Okay, and it's the arrangements around ECP, so it might be around staffing, uh, the status between students, so, so for us we felt that the stigma which is often something that describes either ECP, ECP students, ECP staff, is something that's really experienced with staff, not with the students. So once the students are in ECP, they don't see the stigma, we see the stigma, or we, we stigmatize staff stigmatize students and it's usually not ECP staff, it's staff sitting outside of ECP that do the stigmatizing. But in terms of the future again echoing the stuff that that group, the best group in the room, <laughs> is around the intensification of, of ECP. We, we, we didn't really unpack that but we felt that there needed to be an intensification. Okay, And it might be that it's the, the aim is to bring the outsiders in. We want to enable epistemological access and participation so that students can successfully complete their studies in their chosen field. We actually looked at the question of epistemological access a little bit more carefully because some people weren't clear about that. Um, and it's sort of giving support, caring support um, within the disciplines themselves but in a broader sense starting in foundation level because often students don't really know where they want to be. The foundation and extended curriculum program is 
far more important than ever. Forging and consolidating a strong and vocal ECP community of practice was regarded as a key and achievable strategy that especially the Foundation SIG should promote and encourage. While the challenges faced by the wider university sector are numerous, collective commitment to addressing these challenges can ensure movement forward. It remains important that the ECP community is heard, so cultivating a culture of research will be central. The Foundation SIG has to play a pivotal mediation role and help create various platforms where the collective ECP voice can be heard and amplified.